Uh, good morning. I think you guys, Simba's taking my job right now. He loves the camera. But that's right. We're talking about the second annual Kids Fest event right here in St. Albans. And get this, a unique educational opportunity with 802 Reptiles, which is who I am with this morning. Here is Kevin Clarkson, who is the founder of 802 Reptiles. Kevin, I have two really slithery friends with me here this morning. We have Simba, we have Charlie. And let's talk about what kind of snakes they are. Yeah, these are uh, various colors of uh, ball pythons. Ball pythons are a non-venomous snake native to West Africa. The cool thing about these particular, uh, these particular animals, not only are they friendly, but they weren't taken out of the wild. They were born into captivity. That makes for a much more gentler animal. Yeah. And uh, it gives it a great life. People a lot of times want to tell me that perhaps these should be out in the wild. I should release them. But they were not from the wild. They probably necessarily don't have the instincts to go back in the wild. Certainly not here in Vermont. Right. We don't have the climate to... Uh, facilitate them living outside. But uh, great animals. Again, this one's a chocolate Mojave. His name's Charlie. This is about a three or four year old snake. This is a super pastel uh, named uh, Simba. I got these from two different snake breeders around the country. And uh, we're gonna be here from three to five on uh, Friday mm -hmm. doing a reptile meet and greet. And uh, it's cool to see these animals on camera, but I promise that they're cooler in person oh, because uh, these yeah. are real. I can these, vouch. These aren't trained. I didn't train Spencer how to hold these. She just <laughs> Got right into it, and uh, that's how docile and friendly and uh, happy with everyone they are. They really, really are. And something cool that Kevin just told me about, notice their tongues. They're going crazy. Yep. But there's a reason for that, right, yes. Kevin? So tell us. We're yes. looking at this picture right here, actually. S snakes aren't uh, sticking their tongue out to be silly or to ham it up for the camera. They're doing it whether there's a camera or not. Snakes have something called the Jacobson organ, which is a new, uh, unique organ on the roof of their mouth. Their tongue comes out. Notice, too, that it's forked. It's much easier to notice in this illustration. And uh, this snake is interested in what I'm talking about, too. But uh, <laughs> the tongue comes out, picks up air particles, goes back in, and they can identify kind of taste and smell as one. That is in, so uh, cool. Something that's part of the old factory system. And, oh, uh, I love really that. Really cool. You know, you can see that no arms and no legs means they have adapted in other ways to identify both predator and prey because despite people stereotyping these as kind of being mean, aggressive animals that are maybe the next UFC champion or something like that, uh, really, in fact, they're gentle, and they need to not only find food, but not become food. So right. they need to identify the kind of surroundings. That is so awesome. Well, thank you so much, Kevin, for giving us that little educational um, opportunity there. And you know what? You guys can see these, these awesome, awesome snakes and reptiles, too. We're going to be talking about it all morning. Second annual Kids Fest event kicking off tomorrow, so be there or be square. Mm -hmm. Right, Kevin? Yep. Okay, perfect. Well, we're going to be live here on the Morning Brew coming up next, so stay with us if you want to see more of these slithery, slithery friends. <laughs> For now, live here in St. Albans, Spencer Thomas. Back to you, Pollock Senny, Caroline, and Amanda. Thanks, Spencer. Well, wow, I'm really learning a lot about snakes this morning. I didn't know that about their tongues. I know, right? And I'm, I'm still not sure if I'm ready to touch one, so. Yeah.